hello. We would like to welcome all of you to Emmanuel Church of the Deaf in Rochester, New York. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent, and we are here to celebrate. I am Father Ray Fleming, and I am Deacon Pat Graybill. Wow, soon it will be Christmas. Time has just flown by. We begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. We begin first by turning and asking God for his support, his help, his mercy, and his forgiveness of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and grant us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may be his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be as deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Let the Lord enter. He is king of glory. Let the Lord enter. He is king of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter. He is king of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? 
one whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter. He is king of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is king of glory. Our second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God. Which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The Gospel about His Son. The Gospel about His Son. descended from David according to the flesh, but established as Son of God in power according to the Spirit of Holiness. through resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also, who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son. 
and they shall name him Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, our gospel focused on Mary, her pregnancy, and the hopes for that. Soon, we will have the birth of Jesus Christ. And all of us are excited for Christmas. The baby Christ. Sometimes we have sweet songs about Christ's birth. So sweet and mild, and the Virgin Mary holding her new child. When we have a Christmas baptism here at church, everyone is in awe. The precious child. And then when I hold the baby up, everyone cheers and claps. We all enjoy seeing the baby, right? But, we face challenges here ahead of Christmas. Why do we think Christ was born? To do what? To show God is here 
throughout the world. Yes. And maybe if you were called a prophet named Malachi, who said, On the day he comes, who can be patient? When he shows up, who will persevere? Why, he is like a refiner's fire. And you know, I grew up in Mint on Mint. I grew up in Montana, and I had a little copper bell. So how did we get the copper? Well, they would pull up these big rock tubes, and then they would burn off all the rock and the soil and all of that dirt. And what was left was the copper. And that is called a refiner's fire. They burn off everything that is not valuable. Or Malachi used the word fuller's soap. Fuller's soap. That isn't the same as the soap we use on our body. It's more like a lye bleach to make everything clean and white. So truly, I think all of us are excited and ready for the birth of Jesus Christ. But Jesus, he didn't come here to remain a baby forever. He came like Malachi's refiner's fire. He came to burn away all the things that hold us back from a connection with God. Jesus was born and grew for the forgiveness of our sins and to cleanse us, to make us God's holy people. Jesus also challenges us not to focus inward on ourselves, but outward on others, to think about other people. For example, Mary was put in an awful situation. She was pregnant, Joseph wanted to divorce her, and the angel needed to intercede and send Mary to go and visit the elder women for help. Don't focus on yourself. Focus on help of other people. That means we need Christmas. We need Christ the child. And we need Christ as an adult. Now with us. Amen. Now we pray. We pray that the world is ready for Christ's birth, letting us know to love one another. That war must end. Arguments and fighting shall resolve and bring peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. For our political leaders, including our own president, that they turn from a time of chaos and focus on service to the people who voted for them. Connecting us all so that peace can happen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. We pray for all of those in need from illness, without a home, suffering, 
lost and alone, that they may find support from God and his people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. We pray for those that are sick with the flu on the rise. COVID still without a cure and the many other diseases like cancer. May we include my sister who is now in hospice. Mel Chua and other members of our church that they all may become healthy in God's time as he touches those people that care for and support them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. For those that have died, may they have peace in heaven as God comforts those here on earth grieving. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. God, please help us to be ready for Christ this Christmas. Prepare us for your son's birth. Help us to be born into a new life, united with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you, as they become our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, Sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar. Just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. It is right to give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh. 
and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we dare to hope. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he first took the bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper had ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of of sins. Do this in memory of me. Now we proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Salvatore, our Bishop, 
and all those who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the way that our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all, and with your spirit. Christ's peace is here. Share that peace with those around you. Peace be upon you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is for those of you who cannot receive communion for a variety of reasons. Come and pray with me now. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <coughs> Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's Nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go now with peace in your heart and love in service to the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God. <laughs>